Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining today. Let's play some European Resource 4 as Zoroastrian Persia in our Zoroastrian Persian campaign. So, uh, before we jump back into our campaign here, as you guys probably all know, Victoria 3 was announced. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I don't know when it comes out. I don't know anything about the game or at all, you know, anything like that. Um, I will say that I'm interested in it for sure. You guys all know um, Victoria 2 is my favorite Paradox game of any Paradox game they've probably ever made. Um, I'm really looking forward to Victoria 3. That's like my... I cannot explain in words how excited I am for that. So uh, let me know if you guys want to see some more Victoria 2 campaigns. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't hate EU4. It's just it's kind of been a little stale for me. It's kind of lost its luster. Um... I might be willing to jump back into something like Victoria 2 or something like that for a while. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. It's, it's you know. I'm willing to jump back in there and kind of get ready for the uh, for the Victoria 3 hype and, and that kind of thing. Um, I'm hoping to get a preview key from Paradox whenever Victoria 3 can be released. Apparently, according to Martin, who is the game director uh, of Victoria 3, they've been working on the game since 2018. So, so they're announcing it, you know, in 2021. It's been about three years of production. Um, my guess is they're going to release either the end of next, uh, the end of this year or the early next year. You know, um, usually a game development studio will release teasers and, and kind of start getting some hype going about six months to a year before the game launch. So my guess is somewhere in the next year, you know, we should see some sort of launch. So I'm hoping I can get a preview key and, and you know, check out the game and, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know. You know, um, let me know if you guys are interested in that or if you want to see that. You know, I'm I'm definitely open to that. So anyway, back to the game. Last we left off, we had conquered a lot of land from the Timurids. Um, we still have some more land to go for Afghanistan, and the Timurids. And then uh, eventually we want for our achievement to get this this little this little uh, province here of Daman. We'll see when we can take that. Um, we will need to attack Malwa for it. Um, let's see. He's allied with Bengal, Sirhin, Shagatai, and the Timurids. So probably what we will do... We'll probably declare a war against um, Afghanistan. We'll take him out and, and take all of our land that we need to from him. And then probably the next idea or the next war we'll declare after that will be for this land up here and Malwa will be dragged in. And so we can take this and convert that and, and uh... well, and, and I think actually let's check what the achievement requires. Um, I think I just have to own it. I don't know if I have to do anything else though. Let's see, it's here somewhere. I forget where. Um, yeah, there we go. So we have to own our religious centers, and then the monument has to be on tier three. So we need to own Daman and Kiva. Okay, so we need to own Daman and then Kiva's up here. So we'll we'll take that soon. We do have a lot of aggressive expansion around the place, so we need to kind of let it burn off for a few years. So while we're letting that happen, we're going to be investing in our um, in our economy. We're making really, really good money right now, and it's going to get even better as time goes on. We're making about 61 ducats a turn, so we just need to be patient. We just need to be patient. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll grow and be where we need to be. Um, we could spend some money on Armenia, making Armenia a super strong vassal, but... We don't like have to. There's no like requirement that we do that. Um, they're actually pretty strong already. So, you know, they control all the uh, all the Caucasian land around here. You know, um, I guess they actually accept Georgian culture, which is pretty cool. They accept Armenian culture. So that's that's really nice. Um, and then we're going to help him convert. I think a lot of this land. We're going to help him convert this stuff because we convert better than he does. So um, let's let's let time keep ticking. Um, we're getting our institution here of the printing press. That'll take some time, but that's all right. We're uh, ahead of tech and everything except for Diplo anyway. So I'm not really worried about tech, to be honest. We, we, we've done pretty well for ourselves, all things considered. Um, we don't really need more military or admin points at this moment. So I might just hold off on some of these advisor guys. Yeah. Make some good money. Um... Yeah, we can lose a prestige. That's fine. I really want national unrest right now. Let's see. What I want to do, we want to make sure we invest in our temples. Um, workshops are always nice as well. 
I, I think the big money makers for us, though, are going to be the manufactories. Yeah, I mean, that local goods produce modifier is pretty kick-ass. Um, we could also do soldiers' households in places. They get us a lot of manpower. It's actually quite a bit. We don't necessarily need manpower right now, though. Um, I think investing more in, in, in manufactories and stuff is just a, a better way to make money. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think that's that's probably the best way to go about this. <clears throat> We're about to actually cap out our idea groups, um, or, or our ideas here. Um, promotion of irrigation, we get manpower recovery speed, national tax modifier. Let's go and take that. We'll take that early. Um, is it worth being buying on Diplotech for an extra... For an extra merchant. I I could make this guy a level three. Level three advisors. I mean, we, you know, we make enough money to afford it right now. I think I'm actually willing to do this. Um, I think I do want the extra merchant. Let's let's see what we can put him. We have uh, one here, transfer trade power. We have one guy here. We could use more power up here. Let's actually try here, though. Um, let's have him transfer. I'll transfer stuff up here back to... Uh, yeah, back to our node. Transfer some wealth. So that'd be nice. Um, let's see. Transfer to power, establish communities. Yeah, let's let's do the established communities here for the improvelations over time. Um, let's let's lose. Yeah, let's probably use that everywhere. I don't actually use these too often, which is kind of funny. Siege ability, fertility bonus versus the fort. Wow, that's actually really strong. Huh, holy crap, it's really strong. Yeah, income will go down maybe a little bit, but that's that's all right. We really could use the improvisations over time right now. We just we want to get this a, we want to get this aggressive expansion down, um, if we can. Um, we're gonna get some corruption here. Look on rest, look production efficiency for two corruption. It's not really worth it. Um, yeah. We get another guy here. Yeah, reinforce speed guy is fine. That's fine. Um, reinforce speed guys. Okay. Do we want to put an edict over here for the for the spread? We probably could. Let's see. Al Jazeera. I see the territories. Okay. Um, let's see. Mogistan, Kurdistan. Udalon. Well, this is prosperity, so that means we're getting some local development costs, local goods produced, modifier, monthly autonomy change. I don't know, I mean, how fast does it spread? Interesting. Hmm. I, don't know, I think we can afford to be patient right now. I'm not really that worried about it. Yeah, I'm not that concerned about the, uh, the institution, to be honest. Really, what I want to invest in... Let me see. Could do marketplaces. Let's see. Trade a crisis. Now nah, we're going to try and help out. I can, I can lose the Diplo. That's fine. Gonna cut more of these. And then um, we will definitely focus on manufactories, I think. Wanna get us the ones that make the most money. Um, we could build up our force limit a little bit. Let's see, this is 21, 8, and 16. 21, 8, and 10. We increased our combat width from 29 to 30. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, dude, a level three commandant at half cost. Yeah, I'll take that. It's a woman. So we need these to go to 22 and 8. That's 30. Um, yeah, we could do some artillery as well. That's fine. Let's 
Let's see. Let, wow, Len Maintenance Modifier um, for 10 years is minus 10%. That's cool. That's what level 3 advisors get you. They're super useful. Yeah, level 3 advisors are killer. There's just, there's so many benefits that you get from them. It's like not even funny. Yeah, they're really, really good. Um, let's improve relations with the Mamluks here. We have, we actually don't have a royal marriage with this guy. I don't really want to make this guy an enemy anytime soon, so let's, let's keep him friendly with us. Um, let's see, what map mode is it for supply limit? There's really not too many places I can actually afford this army. It's actually too much, pretty much everywhere. Alright, let's put it then. Okay, yeah, we have a 255, so we're focused on admin for now. This guy's 40 years old, so that's fine. Um, I gotta admit, a 322 is not great. We may want to make that dude... I don't want to burn prestige right now, but... That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, we can run this to Zoroastrian. Let's see, Marital Bliss. Um, we could get a Master Recruiter for half cost. Don't need that. We don't need Master Manpower Modifier. Call that Diplomat there. That's fine. What's our trust with this guy? Yeah, 100. 100. He's got 112,000 men. Holy crap. That's scary. Yeah, so we see manufacturers, attrition for enemies, local defensiveness, imprisonment offices, sailor increase. Let's see, statewide governing costs minus 20%, state health, soldiers, households. Yeah, then we have the manpower modifiers. I you, It's funny because I, I know unless you really, really need manpower, I actually usually find the regimental camps and the conscription centers to be better. Straight up land force limit, I believe is better than, than manpower. I don't know, that's just me though. Um, I have to admit those sailors, sailors are really, really useful if you tend to run out of them a lot. And then the land for the naval force limit is also super useful. Like having shipyards and grand shipyards, if you're anything colonial, having those is pretty important. Um, it's it's kind of hard to not have that. Get some spices. Let's see, improvement amount. Province governing cost minus six. What is what is this? I'm curious what that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, poor quality copper, huh? Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Jesus. Yeah, that was painful. Really, we're over the force man. That's funny. The advisors of Abbas the Great. Shah Abbas greatly admired the military skills of the Western Emperor uh, of the Western Europeans and gladly accepted Christian missionaries to his realm. Even pretending to be on the verge of converting himself. <laughs> wow, dude. Tech cost minus 20%. That's pretty good. Eastern plutocracy. Yeah, what the hell does this do? Let's see. Autocracy and justify demands. Let's see. An Eastern plutocracy. Let's see, enables merchant republic mechanics, allows plutocratic, disables aristocratic, allows cheap drafting of transport ships, can place trade posts, trade leagues, and trade cities. That's interesting. Hmm. Force trader privileges, national manpower modifier, or mass promoted cultures, monthly autonomy change, Ministry of Condre, aristocratic recruitment. Is this worth one stability? I think so. I think tech cost minus 20%. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I believe. I believe it is. All right, so these guys are going to this institution. Oh, we will tax it. 
If it moves, text it. Yeah, we've got plenty of stability, so I'm not too worried. Um, the reforms of Abbas the Great, the reign of Shah Abbas the Great marked the pinnacle of the Safavid dynasty. He developed a, a disciplined standing army, crushed the Uzbeks, and avenged himself on the Ottomans. In uh, 1598, he chose Isfahan as his new capital, supported the arts, especially architecture. He adorned Isfahan with some of the finest Islamic monuments in the world. Yeah, sounds about right. Let's see. Um, to improve this is going to cost us 3,500 monies. So we're still working on many factories right now. Slowly but surely we'll get some. There's a lot of money to be made here. It's just that the return on investment is going to take some time. Yeah, it's quite a few. Quite a few of these. I should declare one of the Great Horde. They cite Conquest as their CB. Okay, can we attack the Timurids? We actually can. We still have quite a few, quite a bit of aggressive expansion with these guys, though. Yeah. Mm. We've burned a lot of it with other people, but the Timurids in Afghanistan still have quite a bit. Um. Well, my my next target is actually Afghanistan, so we should maybe start improving relations or improving our spy network with him. The Timurids are not going to be my next target, so. We take this military idea group because we got we, we're 12 years in a military tech, so we're kind of doing fine there. Let's see, this guy's getting quite powerful, which is nice. Okay, we have a lot of forts. We have not upgraded these forts at all, though. I usually keep anything in mountains. We maybe could actually move like one or two of these, like move that one there. Um, let's see, Hiss and Kaifa. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind moving that one to Bitless. Still defends kind of the same area, but it's mountains. Instead of Hiss and Kaifa. Um, in fact, we will we'll probably do that. Let's do that. Let's let's move this. Sure, why not? Sure, that's what the level four. Um, and then I I probably could use one more down here. I don't know. Um, Shiraz is probably not a bad place or like like Kazarin or something. As long as it's mountains. Fossa is actually a pretty good one too. Yeah, it's already got the building slots though. Shiraz is all full too. Yeah. Kazarin's probably a place for a better one. Um, yeah, we'll do that one. Making some money again. Dude, we're getting these ideas like nothing. Look at that. It costs us 348. Holy shit, look at that. Iskandar Tumush. He's an accomplished diplomat. One stability or 50 prestige? Um I will go with a stability. Let's see, we are seventh great power in the world. We are ahead of Austria. Let's see, regional nobility challenge, Persia. Yeah, that's fine. It's just one little state. It's not that big of a deal. Holy shit, dude. Austria is huge. What happened to this guy? Croatia is independent. Commonwealth are also huge. What the hell? I usually don't see him get this big. France is still kind of just here. Spain is expanded into France a little bit. Which is interesting. You know, it's actually interesting. France doesn't have Clinton cores on here anymore. I don't know if they ever owned it, actually. Tunis is kind of the same. Mamluks is super big. Uh, Ming imploded. Everything looks pretty normal over here besides Ming's implosion. Um, probably is explained by Oirat being huge. You know, Ma Ming probably lost the Mandate of Heaven. Yeah, so now you got this guy of Yue. Gnarly. Right. 
Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that, dude. The cost of paper. Holy shit. Look at that. Those manufacturers make me 1.23 per month. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, it'll take its, it'll take time to pay itself off, but that's that's a lot. In fact, what would how long would that take? I'm curious. Um, 453 ducats divided by 1.23 per month takes 368 months divided by uh, 368 divided by what 12? 368 divided by 12 it takes about 30.6 years to pay itself off. It's a long time. We'll probably be done with the campaign before that time. <laughs> See, I'm gonna say it's award somebody. So your trade collapse. We must do something. Trade collapse. Spin administration. Yeah, it's just kind of unfortunate. Once we completed all the government reforms, there's kind of nothing for us to do. You know, I kind of wish there was more to do with this this power. It's kind of the same thing with Splendor. Once you've gained enough Splendor, you're, there's really not much to spend it on. You know, I just, I, I wish there was more to do there. It's unfortunate. Let's see, Uzbek, Sindenser, Hint. Okay. Finally getting this institution. Um, global trade is making its way as well. In fact, what I want to do, let me try and see if I can maybe upgrade all of these the little, uh, the inland centers of trade and the Persia nodes, see if that'll get us more money. It's not that expensive to upgrade them. It's only 200 ducats. See, this one's got one. Well, it's a. Uh, yeah, it's got the Kura Estuary. Let's see, is there one here? There is. There is. Okay, let's upgrade that. Let's see. So the market town gets us. Yeah, local trade power plus ten. Some of these we can't upgrade because of development. I think. See, we could probably spend some military points to upgrade these a little bit. What's going on here? Increased demand for satin? Let's see. Local. I don't want to lose. Let's see. In fossil. Let's take a look and see what happens. Okay. So people want satin or silk. Just step in to regulate excesses. Ow! Ow! Okay, so we, we did not get lucky there, unfortunately. Let's see, what else can we build? What else can we build? Yeah, those paper manufactories were nice, and then the silk is also really nice. Makes it some money. Um, build that Yazd. So we have level twos mostly everywhere. Mostly. Yeah, we should probably try and improve our trade power here. Um, oh yeah, we gotta make sure we keep converting for this guy. Take a look here. Let's see, this place does not have enough development. Um, we are very far ahead in military though, so we can probably help that out. Ah, I could use the Diplo right now, actually. Uh, the mercantilism is nice though. I don't actually have that much. I will take the Diplo. I will take the Diplo. Yeah, see, I kind of want to improve boss for a little bit. Kind of 
kind of want improved boss room. Yeah. Because the, the more trade power there, then we transfer to the version node. So yeah, just, just that little bit gave us, you know, 2% more. So that's nice. Let's take that. Let's go insult this dude. Send him an insult. Uh, what's what's this looking at here? So we're we're getting there. Um, if we were to attack him, everybody would join. Yeah, it's not really surprising to me. Yeah, I do want to. I would. I do want to take these territories, and then we would attack the Timrids. So we're we're kind of getting there. It's starting to be the time that we could probably start attacking people again. We've been at peace for about about ten years. Yeah. Okay, Armenia is almost completely converted. Timber Dynasty everywhere. The economy fools. Okay, yes, we're definitely making some money. Holy shit. It's impressive. Let's keep going for some stuff to get us more money. Um, what makes us now? Yeah, it looks like this silk is pretty in demand. Eh, we'll take the we'll take the better option this time. The less risky option. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're not really anywhere near getting this thing here. Let's start turning on the institution spread edict. Uh, we can't do it there. Damn, we can't do it there either. Hmm. I wonder if I do want to make these into states. I don't know. I don't know. Not too. Not too sure. We, we need to start getting it. Um, I think that the, the centers of trade and stuff, we're probably going to be okay, but for global trade. Yeah, we'll get it slowly, but surely this printing press thing, though, we're going to want to work a little harder on that. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Because now we're actually falling pretty far behind in, in uh, the institution stuff. We are, I mean, well, to be fair, we're ahead on tech on everything. It's just I don't want to... We're going to lose our lead here soon if we don't, you know, do that. So. All right, let's put some back up to full maintenance. Holy crap, even at full maintenance, we make 43 ducats a month. Okay, so Russia declared war in Kazan. Okay. Uh, I think we can probably attack. Probably take Afghanistan pretty soon. Let's see, did we take that? Yep, we can take that. We got quality, and then we get our uh, extra discipline. We got artillery combat ability here. We can take taunts of the true faith right here. We're about to get this national tax modifier, and then we'll also get that recover army morale speed. I probably could take this idea here, the trade range. Yeah, it doesn't actually do that much for us, but, you know, it's nice. Let's see, relative army power of all marches to Persia. Let's see, from 141 development, enforced religion, 65. Let's see, military reform, or both Jesus look at that holy shit of oh, armies of navies military tech cost let's see oh so this guy's name is Muhammad Ali huh that's funny <laughs> yeah uh, Egypt has a famous ruler named Muhammad Ali but I guess we got him here in Persia Um, I think I usually go for this one. I think the land, you know, we don't really use morale of navies. The diplo power is nice, but we don't really need it necessarily. We are finishing up this idea group, but it's not that big of a deal. I usually almost always go for the, mil the morale of armies. Is usually the way I go about that. So, okay, so Afghanistan, you've got a couple people. Let's see, we have no generals currently, so. Well, I should also get one for this force as well. Oh, wow. He's way better. 
Holy crap. All right, let's do that. Put you there. That guy's a reserve army. We're gonna go for cobble first, probably. We will go for cobble. Take that. I'll probably take this real fast, and then we'll send in an army to invade Sir Hind. We'll see if we can maybe pillage it or something. I don't know. See how that goes. We got plenty of manpower, so we don't need to worry about sieges too much. Wow, that was fast. Where the hell is he going? Oh, he's going over there, huh? Okay, we took Kandahar. Well, that was quick. All right, let's go for a row. He's locked into Chewy. Fucking demolish that dude. Um, I'm probably just going to leave the Uzbeks alone. I think it's fine. Let's see. We can go for Sir Hind. Where's his capital? Actually, it's... Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. Is that so? He's got a lot of cores here. I kind of want to invade India. Hmm. That's tempting. <laughs> I may use him to invade India. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, dude, he's got a single province. I might as well take that. Yeah, Sir Hind is this guy's capital. Oh, we just got black flag for some reason. Let's make sure we keep building these mini factories. Keep them coming. I mean, we make 46 tickets a month while at war. That's actually quite a bit. That's kind of crazy. Where there is faith, there is trust. I believe we get that from our religious ideas, if I remember correctly. Man, you piece of shit. I won't give you nothing, man. Um, I probably should go for the clergy on this one because the nobility are already loyal. Yeah, can you take that? Thank you, Arminia. That's actually really nice of you. Holy shit, they have an army way over here. What's going on with this? The fort defensiveness is crazy here. Look at that. Look at that. Damn. Okay. He might take that. We'll see. I will vassalize Sin, probably. What type of uh, Islam is he? Sunni? Yeah, most of these guys are Sunni. There's a lot of Hinduism around here. Hmm. Looks like they haven't converted too much. Let's get Sir Hind out of this war. We've almost fully occupied Afghanistan for what we need. Uh, Sins. What do you want? What do you want to do? Yeah, man. Can you like, can you, like be a vassal, dude? Damn, that's a lot of gross expansion. Holy shit. Really? Okay, maybe that's not worth it. I transfer trade power? Sure. Yeah, maybe we'll leave him. I wish we could force convert people. That'd be pretty sweet. All right, so I'm gonna take this possibly. Shah sure, Rook Day. Two, two, five, two. Pretty decent. Pretty decent leader. He moves fast. I'm surprised we haven't gotten here faster, honestly. Yeah, 36 day siege takes. That's not bad. Uh, Uzbek siege ability is actually pretty decent. Either that or our defensiveness is terrible. Uh, I don't know. All right, you leave that. You guys go back to the capital. We should move our capital to Isfahan. We want to be super historical. Damn, Armenia's got some good siege power, dude. What the hell? Holy shit, he's got 20 day siege ticks? How's that? I gotta see this. What's this? What's this? What's this siege ability? 
What is that? Hold on. Damn! Armenian siege ability is 26.6%. Armenian spy network can start hit 20%. Holy shit. What's our siege ability? 6.7? Wow, he's got some crazy shit going on. Is that what a march is? My god. That's incredible. You know, I mean, I think I have 32 day siege ticks. You know, that's... That's whatever. <laughs> My god, though. Alright. What am I gonna do with you, man? You're gonna be pillaged. That's right. Pillage does add aggressive expansion. Hmm. All right, give me your money, bro. Maybe pillage that shit or reps. You want to? You want to humiliate? Yeah. Yeah. Give your claims. Eh, it's probably fine. All right. All right. Let's make sure we keep doing uh, doing our manufacturing thing. All right, because I mean, obviously, with these wars, we're gonna get a lot of money. So that's nice. Okay, you're gonna give me everything. Uh, yeah, I kind of want some money. Um, you don't need a null treaties. I'd actually probably prefer war reps with that. Okay, so you give me all my claims. Yeah, it's perfect. It's kind of a coalition, though, a little bit. It's not that bad. We could probably take that war even anyway. Let's see. Maul was kind of big. Delhi's kind of big. Sirhin will have a truce with Afghanistan. A truce. Shirvan. He's pretty small. I'm not that worried. Yeah, we can we can deal with this. Um, that's fine. Let's go to that fort, I think. We're protected from here by this fort anyway. And then row. Oh, come on. That is the most inconvenient location. It's in Highlands. It's not even mountains. There's a, like, in Jalalabad, right there, dude. You can put it right there. Come on. This is an excellent spot for a fort, damn. Wow, you actually built manufacturers here. That's impressive. Ah, Jalalabad's full, man. I mean, we could expand the infrastructure if we wanted to. Hmm. Nah. Nah. All right. We took the Graveyard of Empires. We now got some claims here, I guess. Um, let's convert some stuff. Start coring some stuff. Cool. Yeah, we convert really fast, which is always super nice. God, that's some crazy ghost expansion, though. Holy shit. Get a sensor hint. Delhi, Bengal. Yeah, the next target will be the Timurid Zone. We'll attack him, see how that goes. It should be pretty easy. And then... With that will be... How we get Daman. Yeah. That'll be it. Because he's allied with Chagatai, Malwa. Oh, that's it. Shit, we can attack him right now if we wanted to. I mean, I don't know if there's anybody that has enough... Let's see, Commonwealth is fine. I don't know if we have enough... Um... Melican. Oh my god, the Ottomans are guaranteed by Russia? Holy shit. Okay, so we just went to war with the Russians, I think. Oh, no, unless the Russians decline the call to arms. Oh, what the hell? Russia and the Mamluks are allied. Huh. That's interesting. Man, this air is getting pretty trash. He's 322 and he's infernal. I kind of want to get rid of him. That's pretty trash. 
I don't know. Hmm. It's kind of a sick situation. I mean, we have a lot of legitimacy, but... Let's see. Let's see if maybe we can get him killed or something. Let's see how that goes. I don't know. Okay, once these are all cored, we can start converting. Okay, let's see here. Institution? Almost there. It's getting there. Mm, national rest, buddy cost modifier. These guys ain't bad. I don't have anybody half cost though. I'd kind of prefer that. Austria declared one the holy um declared a holy war. I mean now we make more from production than we do from tax. So I don't know. I'll pick a tax. I'll pick I'll pick a production guy, sure. Um the advisors are expensive, don't get me wrong, but they they do provide, you know, some pretty decent benefits. We can we can use them. Yeah, that happened pretty quick with triple Tanya. See, Trapezantine separatists. Let's see, we can stake Gore. Where's that? Oh, it's here. Sure. How much development does our capital have? Our capital has, my God, man, 69 development. Jesus. Scary. Let's take that. We, we could have gone for more ideas, but I want to stay hidden at tech if I can. Especially because we don't yet have the institution. We kind of got to still let it do its thing. It's expanding slowly, unfortunately. Yeah, the institution spread. Where else is it heading? Um, I'm actually unsure. Do we have it anywhere? I don't know. I think so. I mean, it's getting there. You know, because mo most of this is stated. So once once we start getting it in these areas, we're going to be better off. Let's see. Like, so we're getting global trade here, but we're not getting... It's funny, because we're getting global trade, but we're not getting printing press. You know? <laughs> I think it's actually pretty kind of interesting. We may want to help this along, to be honest. Um, yeah, that, that that helps us out, I think, a bit. In fact, does this place have it does? It has a market town. We may want to get that a level get that to a level three. Um circulation of hostile publications. That's here. We actually could probably use that. This is for printing press. So it'd be like here. Semawatt. I mean, it's 50, dude. That's a lot. We need it. We have to have it because we want to get our institution. I'm not that worried about unrest. I think we're going to be okay. So. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we have some here. Not that big of a deal. I think your Armenians are out there doing some stuff. Where are they? The Armenians. Let's get some better boats. We're going to get some galleons. We don't really use our navy too often. That's fine. Not really that word. Where'd they go? I don't know. There's some around here. It's funny because they're actually getting up there, man. They're getting pretty disloyal. I mean, they do have like a quarter of my army. I've got only 91,000. You know? By, I think, most people's standards, that's not a lot. Let's see. Dude, Kabulistan? Are you serious? This place is... This place is 50 development? Damn. That's not bad. All right, cool. All right, well, let's take a break here. I'm going to take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.